Hi, I'm Ari, Staff Development Specialist with the Department of Innovation and Learner Engagement. Here's your next quick tip. Let's go ahead and get started with Google Sites. As you can see, I'm currently just going to Google. So let's navigate to our Google Drive. And then from here, I can click on New, then More, to create a new Google Site. I prefer using this route to get to Google Sites, just because then that way I know exactly where it is. In this case, I know it's in my Google Drive, but let's say I went into this LEC homework folder. If I clicked New, More, and Sites, I know my Google Site would be in this specific folder. Of course, if you want, you can always go to sites.google.com and you can create a new Google Site from here as well. Just know, if you create a Google Site from here, you'll have to move it into an appropriate folder later. But let's jump into this untitled site. As you can see, this is a work in progress. Also, something else you can notice is this Google site is currently shared with other people. That's what these little symbols mean, versus this Google site down here that doesn't have the little symbol. That means this site is private to me. But let's jump into this untitled one. So as you can see, I have a home page and an about the team page already created in this Google site. First, let's go ahead and add some new pages. First, let's go ahead and add some new pages. To do this, let's click on the tab on the right hand side that says pages. To create a brand new page, click on the new page button at the bottom. When you hover on that plus sign, it gives you two options. First, let's focus on new page. The name of your page will become what shows up here on the site. So I'm going to call this contact us. And now it's creating a brand new page. Once this blue bar is done moving, you're free to edit the page. So as you can see, currently contact us is listed in our navigation bar. But let's say contact us should be a sub page of about the team. If you come to your pages menu on the left hand side and hold down your left mouse button, you can drag it to be a sub page of about the team. So now you'll notice contact us is indented here. And here you won't see it until you hover on the drop down for about the team. If you wanted to create another sub page, maybe a sub page of contact us, for example, you can click on the three dots and click add a sub page. I'm going to call this one work in progress. As you can see, I accidentally made two pages, but that's fine. To delete a page, click on your three dots and click delete. And now that page is no longer a part of your website. Let's say this work in progress page though is a work in progress and I don't want people to see it yet. I can click on my three dots and click hide from navigation. That means when my website is published, people won't be able to see this page to click on it. One other important note is many people would like to move their navigation from the top of the screen to the left of the screen. When you're hovering on your navigation bar, if you click on the gear, you can change it to side navigation. Just one other quick point of reference, right now this Google site is not published, which means I'm the only one that can see it along with my other editors. To check and see who's editing this site, I can click on the person with the plus. In this case, I'm the only person editing it, however, other RUSD teachers can view the draft of this website as I create it. That's why we saw that people symbol earlier. When this website's published, anyone on the web can find it. You can change these options if you need to by clicking on the change button. Remember, the published is what people see when you publish the website and the draft is what people see if you allow them to co-edit the website with you. I hope today's quick tip has been helpful.